Hey everybody, so uh, for those of you that have seen my sequences and series videos, I know uh, a lot of the comments are like, oh, sequences and series, they give me headaches. Um, they did me too at the beginning, but it's probably my favorite topic in all of calculus that you encounter. And because a lot of the ideas are A, very practical and very useful, they're very beautiful. They're things that, to me, when I first took calculus, um, you know, I never would have expected these relationships that arise. So it's really cool. And the last thing is, there are just some mind-blowing results that just defy our intuition. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that we're dealing with infinity. So you fledgling mathematicians out there that are thinking about going further, keep in mind that when you deal with infinity, you know, your whole concept of what should happen totally doesn't work anymore. So um, I don't know if any of you have checked out uh, Brady Heron over at Number File. If you haven't, check out his videos. He does some cool stuff. Um, one of the results they showed, they looked at, you know, okay, so what happens if we sum up the natural numbers? What if we add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 forever and ever and ever, right? We never stop. We go to infinity. What does that sum add up to? If you haven't seen the video... I bet it wouldn't be your first guess. It turns out that if you add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, just keep going forever and ever, you actually get the value... What? Is that a type? What? You get negative 1 over 12. That's right. You get negative 1 over 12. Go check out his video. Um, and, and if you don't believe me, and uh, watch him go through the argument. So. This says that if you sum up all of the natural numbers, you get negative 1 over 12. That to me... Um, it, it, I, it's hard to wrap my mind around. Um, I really can't, but the mathematics bears it out. So I think, again, you have to realize, you know, you're not dealing with finite things. And that's what our brain deals with. We deal with finite sets. Um, that's what we're used to dealing with in real life. So um, philosophically, intellectually, that um, it, 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 it's amazing to me. So, so let's look at a couple examples here, and then we're going to, the result we're going to prove we'll talk about. So this is known as the alternating harmonic series. So you take positive 1, minus 1 half, plus 1 third, minus 1 fourth, plus 1 fifth, minus 1 sixth, plus 1 seventh, minus 1 eighth, etc., etc., etc. You can actually show that that adds up to the natural logarithm of 2. And I will justify that. Um, and again, this is where in some of the, the videos that go with this, it's going to get technical. So um, it's not going to be something, you know, easy peasy, but you know, if you're a calculus student, you'll be able to follow along. And even if you're not, you know, um, feel free to watch it. Please watch it. I think it's interesting. What happens if we rearrange these terms? Okay. So this is the interesting question. Suppose I rearrange them so that Instead of, you know, I, I, I put the positive ones in black and I've got the negative numbers in red. What if I have two positive numbers followed by a negative number? So I do one plus a third minus a half, um, plus a fifth, plus a seventh, minus a fourth, right? I'm using the same numbers, but I've just got them in a slightly different order. Intuitively, right, you may think, hey, we should still get the natural logarithm of two. But you don't. You actually get... 3 over 2 multiplied by the natural logarithm of 2. So you've still got the same numbers in there that you're adding and subtracting, but you get a totally different value. And Riemann, one of the uh, most amazing mathematicians ever, um, actually proved, and this is something else that we're going to prove, this is going to be the, the nitty-gritty of all of this, is that if you have what's called a, um, um, a conditionally convergent series, and if you've taken calculus, you seen conditionally convergent series. I have videos on conditionally convergent series. It says that there's, and you take uh, any number you want, any positive, or no, excuse me, any, any positive, any number r that you want. So it could be positive pi, it could be negative pi, it could be negative pi raised to the square root of two power. Pick whatever number you want. It actually says if you have a conditionally convergent series, you can rearrange the terms in that series so that they sum up to that number. 
So I can rearrange, I can take any, any conditionally convergent series and I can rearrange those terms in any way that I want um, so that eventually they will give me um, whatever number r I want. So let me say that again. Let me try to make that clear. I can take any conditionally convergent series. I can pick my favorite number that I want, you know, I can be as strange and weird of a number as you want. You can rearrange those terms in that series so that they actually sum up to that number. That's amazing to me. So anyways, um, if this interests you, check out the videos. Um, again, they're going to be much more technical in nature, uh, more technical than what Brady does for sure, you know, on his, you know, because they just, uh, they gave a, a justification for um, that, that, that sum going to negative 1 over 12, um, which again, to me is amazing. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. Um, and then if you want to see some of the other results that we've got, that I've got uh, uh, brewing, uh, come back and check them out. And again, I hope it interests you. So um, again, you know, uh, in math classes a lot of times, right? You, you just kind of, people want to say, oh, well, intuitively that's the answer. Intuitively that's the answer. And this is a great example of showing where intuition, you know, sometimes is way, way off. So um, I hope you come back, post comments, post questions, and uh, let's see what happens. All right.